does it does it help your analysis any that Mr. Darjean was doing well and, and not having to seek medical attention until the assault event in 2015? Station form. Yes. Yeah. Would you consider that a normal progression uh, of, of those changes within the cervical spine over a period of about one year, five months between the two MRIs without an intervening event such as the assault that you had the history of? Objection form. Objection form. It would be very unusual. And so as of the 2015 MRI, was it twice the size as it was in 2014? Yes. Do you have an opinion whether Mr. Darjean sustained injuries to his cervical spine as a result of the assault event uh, by his history in September 17, 2015? Objection for Yes. And, and what is that opinion? Mr. Darjean came in complaints of having left arm and weakness. He was involved with a, an assault. An MRI demonstrated cord compression. Surgical intervention was necessary. And that was the, uh, that was the flow of his care. <laughs> And what sort of history did you have available as to why Mr. Darjean was in the hospital being seen? Uh, he was, uh, according to the history, he was assaulted and he came in because he was complaining of pain and numbness and weakness on the left side of his body. His radiographic imaging, his specifically his MRI, showed that he had cord compression, therefore neurosurgery was then consulted. C3, C4, C4, C5, and C6, C7. And was that consistent with your own review of the imaging? Yes. No, this seems a bit unusual. And would you consider that a normal uh, a progression without an intervening event such as the assault event described? Could you restate the question again? Yeah. Would you consider that a normal progression uh, of of those changes within the cervical spine over a period of about one year, five months between the two MRIs without an intervening event such as the assault that you had the history of? Objection form. Objection form. It would be very unusual. Okay. And so as of the 2015 MRI, was it twice the size as it was in 2014? Yes. Based on your training and your experience in the area of neurosurgery and your actual treatment of Mr. Darjean and the history you got from Mr. Darjean, do you have an opinion whether Mr. Darjean sustained injuries to his cervical spine as a result of the assault event uh, by his history in September 17, 2015? Objection for Yes. And, and what is that opinion? Mr. Darjean came in complaints of having left arm and weakness. He was involved with a, an assault. An MRI demonstrated cord compression. Surgical intervention was necessary. And that was the, uh, that was the flow of his care. Does it does it help your analysis any that Mr. Darjean was doing well and, and not having to seek medical attention until the assault event in 2015? Station form. Yes. And, and what, does, what role does that play in your analysis? No matter what radiographic findings we have, history and physical has always been the standard as far as determining what a patient, how the patient feels. Um, and then you find objective evidence to match it up in the time period and if Mr. Darjean says that he didn't have an issue before and now he does, we as healthcare providers will assume that that, that, it is, that is accurate information. And by history, do you have an opinion on whether or not there's an aggravation of the lumbar spine condition? Objection, objection form. He didn't have back issues before and now he does, so yes.
What was your recommendation to treat the cervical spine? Surgery. Okay. And, and what type of surgery did you recommend? It's called anterior cervical fusion. Okay. And at what levels were you looking at doing the anterior cervical fusion? The levels with core compression, which were C3-4, C4-5, C4, and C6-7. Okay. Uh, when was that surgery done? That yeah, was performed on 9-22-2015. Uh, did Mr. Darjean ever actually leave the hospital between the time you saw him uh, for a consult and the actual surgery? No. From a healthcare standpoint, if someone comes in and has weakness and they have core compression, that's something that uh, needs to be addressed uh, in a quick manner. Okay. Is that different from pressure on a nerve root, for instance, from a herniated disc? Yes. Uh, why is that different? I know there are different parts of the body, but. Spinal cord is like the circuit breaker of the house, and the nerves are like electrical wires. If there's compression on the circuit breaker, the whole house shuts down. If there's a compression on the nerve root, well, may, the lights may go on and off and flicker, but you can still survive. So in his case, he had the spinal cord compression of the, of the spinal cord, the cord compression, excuse me, of the spinal cord. Therefore, it was a surgical intervention was the only route for him. So in his case, he had the spinal cord compression of the, of the spinal cord, a cord compression, excuse me, of the spinal cord. Therefore, it was a surgical intervention was the only route for him.